built to suit a fashion model size. But when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. Telling lies. of my arms. <laughs> The span of my hips. The stride of my step. The curl of my lips. I'm a woman. Phenomenally. Phenomenal woman. That's me. Discourage when you try. The pursuit of a higher place puts you in an unfamiliar space. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel it's right? It was preparing you to shine. Oh, you shine like a million suns. Oh, you shine like a million suns. You shine. I heard you in 
Pursuit of a higher place. It puts you in an unfamiliar space. Don't fear it's by design. It was preparing you to shine. Good evening, GSU. How we doing tonight? That was a little weak. That was a lot of weak. A little weak. Y'all shine, right? How you doing? Don't we shine? You look Let's amazing. Go. There we go. <laughs> Are you happy there to be here? Go. How many beautiful black women that rock do we have in the audience tonight? Can I do a check and see how many men are here who support those black women that rock? Let me hear you fellas. Let me hear you fellas. Let me hear you fellas. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we doing it. All you right. meant that. All right. You, you, you meant that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Welcome <laughs> to GSU's fifth annual Black Women Rock. My name is Sean Smith. I am your co-host tonight along with Ms. Cherish Brown. Black Women Rock. 
Black Women Rock aims to empower women to pursue their personal aspirations, encourage women to support others who are making positive strides, and enlighten women on tools for success. Right now, if you have your phone, feel free to tweet, Facebook posts throughout the night using hashtag BWR2017. We want to know your thoughts. We want to know who's watching, all right? Sounds good to me. So this is being recorded. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. So uh, we um, are going to take this over to the DLMD studio. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. We want to say hi to some folks, right? There we go. Wait, say hi. There okay, that's my old production crew from when I was a This Week at GSU member in digital learning and media design. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> They're recording the event tonight so that it can air on the GSU's cable station, The Educator, and stream on our GSU YouTube channel. So let's give it up for our TV production crew while we're at it. Let's also give a hand to our theater tech crew and the band for a round of applause. All right. GSU has a tremendous amount of talent here. So back to the award show, here to bring greetings on behalf of the university, please welcome Assistant Dean of Students, Cherie Sanderson. Testing, testing. Good evening, everyone. How are we today? Oh, come on, you could do better than that. All this entertainment, we lined up. On behalf of Dr. Elaine P. Maimon, who could not be with us tonight, and our provost, Deborah E. Bordelon, who is actually one of the presenters this evening, we'd like to welcome you to your GSU. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here. I'm so glad to see that so many have brought fa their families out tonight, which is what GSU is really all about. We are incorporated with creating an atmosphere of family and development and education. And one of the things that if you have not uh, been part of GSU before, most of the people that you see on this stage that will pre be presenting are either faculty, deans, the provost, or students who have graduated or current students who are now here. One of the catalysts for why we're doing the uh, Black Women Rock is really to give homage to those people who are always behind the scenes. It's almost like the people making widgets every day, who are always there, always doing, always pushing, passing it forward. And so now we get to recognize those individuals who have done a phenomenal job. Remember, it's not extraordinary people, it's extraordinary people that are doing extraordinary things. So with that, I'm going to let you enjoy the show and we have a great show. So thank you for coming. Here to announce the nominees in the category of Change Agent are Professor of History, Dr. David Galland, and Joyce Coleman, Associate Vice President of Human Resources and Diversity. Good evening. Come on now, you could do better than that. All right, we're here for a wonderful program this evening. Okay. The Change Agent Award is presented to a woman who has performed outstanding service and made significant contributions of time and effort in a cause of significance to the community. Individuals winning this award have displayed an aggressive leadership role by building relationships with elected officials that directly impact public policy. By actively taking the message of their cause to key media outlets and by developing strong grassroots and community initiatives. Two awards will be given in this category, one faculty and staff, the other one, a, one student. Here are the nominees for the Faculty Staff Change Agent Award. 
Cheryl Jones Harper. Dr. Vicki Coffey. Dr. Phyllis West. And the, and winner, the winner is Dr. Dr. Philip West. West. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I really was giving this to Vicki, <laughs> to my colleagues, to my friends, to students, to our students, and the work we need to do. I hope and pray that this right here is going to push us forward, and we're going to Springfield, and we're going to get them the fun education in the state of Illinois. Thank you. Tonight, we are pleased to present two awards in this category. The next nominees are all current GSU students who are actively sharing the message of their cause with the world. And here are the student nominees for the Change Agent Award. Amina Sharad, Shar uh, Rashid, I'm sorry, Rashid, I'm sorry, Amina, Sh Rashid, and the next one is Joy Thomas. And the winner is Amina Rashid. I would just like to thank uh, GSU for giving me the platform and the space to uh, shape myself into the person that I envision myself to be. Um, I believe that what you do not transform in yourself, you transfer to the next generation. So I'd like to transfer my ingenuity, my creativity, my love for humanity, and uh, my love for education and success. Thank you. All right. Announcing the nominees in the scholar category, please welcome the university provost, chief academic officer, Dr. Deborah Bordelone, and former GSU student senate president, graduate assistant for student life, and my friend, Mr. Michael Venarsdale. Good evening. The Scholar Award is presented to a woman who has excelled academically, a scholastic leader in her field or discipline, an outstanding researcher, and is working toward publishing or has already published work in her field. She has contributed greatly to the scholastic world and she is continuing to build upon her findings. Two awards will be given this, in this category, one faculty and staff and one student award. Here are the nominees for the Student Scholar Award. Kendall Wright. <laughs> Linda Coleman. <laughs> Antonia Jones. and Donica Gordon. And the winner is 
Linda Coleman. Thank you, everyone. This is a phenomenal honor and a wonderful surprise. I just hope and pray that um, everything that I strive to do continues to be a, a inspiration to those and others. And I, I want to thank my family that's here and my husband and my GSU family. Everyone, thank you all so very much. It's a great honor. This next award is for the Faculty and Staff Scholar Award. These nominees have contributed greatly to the scholastic world and are doing increasingly work to promote their area of study. And the nominees for the Faculty Staff Scholar Award are Dr. Nicole Warmington Granston. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Armstrong. And the winner is Dr. Nicole Warmington Granston. quite a surprise, but I have to say I'm really thankful for the nomination, but at the same time, I just want to <laughs> just by getting this nomination just really shows how important it is to do research, to do study, to ask questions. And I just want that by winning this award, I will be encouraging other young black women to ask these questions, to find interest in research, and to really make an impact on the world. Thank you. All right, all right. Please now give a rounding, rounding, rounding applause for our GSU Dance Company coming to the stage right now. GSU Dance Company.
To announce nominees for the category of Phenomenal Educator are the Mayor of University Park, Mayor Vivian Covington, and Human Resources Specialist Kevin Morris. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, the Phenomenal Educator Award is presented to an educator who has enriched the lives of students through education mentoring and involvement. This woman has known exceptional teaching abilities as amplified through a demonstration of at least two semesters of excellent teaching. She endeavors to inspire and empower students to reach their full potential. This nominee impacts the lives of her students through demanding edema, excellence, and en enrichment and engaged in education opportunities. Each of these nominees have made endeavors to inspire and empower students to reach their full potential. They each impact the lives of their students by demanding academic excellence and engagement in educational opportunities. The nominees are Latanya Holmes, Dr. Tasha Banks, Dr. Elizabeth Johnson, Dr. Phyllis West, and Dr. Darlene Wright. This year we have two recipients of this award, and the winners are Dr. Tasha Banks and Dr. Elizabeth Johnson. All right.
Thank you. I am ecstatic. It was just enough to be nominated, but to win is phenomenal. GSU makes it easy to be excellent here because the bar is set so high. They provide a lot of support and a lot of encouragement, and I am just really, really appreciative of this honor. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you to those that nominated me, and thank you to the Black Women's Rock Committee, and for all those students that said <laughs> Dr. Johnson was hired, booyah. <laughs> Aisha Walker and one of my students, Travell Crawford from the Male Success Initiative. Good evening. The Philanthropist Award is presented to a woman with a proven record of exceptional philanthropic generosity who has demonstrated philanthropic commitment and encourages others to take leadership roles in philanthropy. This year's recipient always goes the extra mile to support student endeavors and is a leader within the Southland College community. Her commitment to philanthropic organizations and initiatives are admirable. This year winner is... Joyce Coleman. <laughs> It is an honor and a privilege, and I am so humbled today. First of all, I want to say thank you to God and giving him the honor, first of all. A special thanks to the Black Woman Rock Committee and an enormous salute to all of the, this year's nominees, each of whom have made incredible contributions to the GSU community. Uh, thank you to the uh, GSU Foundation and Jackie Small for the nomination uh, for this prestigious award as well. And of course, thank you to my parents, because without them instilling in me to give back to the community, um, I don't know where I would be today. We had the opportunity within our family to give out 45 $1,000 scholarships to students, and we plan to do even more next year. So keep your ears open for additional scholarships. I also wanna give special thanks to my husband, Ken, and um, other family members and friends for always supporting me and being here this evening. One of the greatest things that any of us can do in life is to reach out and do a good deed for one another, for another human being. What I'm going to challenge you to do is uh, whether it means offering your love and compassion or making a, a charitable donation of time, energy, or money. There are many ways to bring sunshines into lives of others. To God be the glory, and thank you for this prestigious award again. Our next performer is a skillful artist whose voice mesmerizes you, paints pictures of faith, beauty, and love. Please welcome the musical stylings of Mr. Floyd Wilkinson.
I could, I'd give you the world, wrap it all around you, won't be satisfied with just a piece of your heart, my Come true. I found the real dream, lady. When I found you, you're so strong, yet tender too. You're my angel. Give it up, give it up. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Give it up again for Floyd. Did y'all see the shoes? Did y'all see the shoes? He rocking them shoes. All right, coming to the stage next is from our Communication Studies Department, Dr. Nicole Kuntz, and your Mr. GSU, Juwan Day. This next award is presented to a woman who is dedicated to performing arts. She expresses her innovative abilities by means of dance, drama, and music. Her work gives an empowering message to those surrounding her. She can be either an upcoming artist or someone who is well established. And this award is given to both a faculty staff member and a student. The recipient for the Faculty Staff Performing Arts Award is Yvette Brown. Okay. Unfortunately, she cannot be here, and we will accept the award on her behalf. Congratulations to yes. Dr. However, this year's Student Performing Arts Award recipient is in a class all by herself. And the winner is Can we get a uh, drum roll, please? <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Sayé Pierre. Off, I want to thank my family and friends for supporting me. I want to thank uh, my Fatal Dance Academy members. They're the reason why I'm nominated, because I put all my hard work and dedication into them. And I want to thank GSU for actually supporting me and my team, allowing us to be able to perform and showcase what we have to offer here at GSU. And thank you. <laughs> take two seconds and give it up for this band right here. Yes. Y'all do better than that, because they rocking tonight. Fellas, y'all are rocking tonight. Real talk, real talk. Speaking of music, we have now coming to the stage, you guys are in for a treat. Put your hands together for the oh so musically poetic, soulfully connected, Olive Blue. Hello. Are you guys feeling good tonight? Well, I'm feeling good. This song is very special to me, but I'm going to let the words speak for itself. So. Um, personally, I feel like other people romanticize and use curl patterns. They think that that's better when they say, oh, wear your natural hair. That's what they mean. But when you pop out with a full-blown kinky afro, that's not really what they were down for. That's not what they thought was beautiful, would fit their standards. Sometimes I sit and I ask myself why I still try. Because we all ask ourselves that sometimes. Because it's a beauty if it's not in the beholder of the eye. Why do we feel we need to fit in the standard of beauty if it wasn't made for us, yeah? Heat damage, that's just what they sold us, yeah. And now you're all addicted to Zilli and Remy. Get her a Zilli and Remy. Get the right type of wavy, cause she need her Zilli and Remy. Addicted to Zilli and Remy. Get her a Zilli and Remy. Get the right type of wavy, cause she need her Zilli and Remy. Burn the matches, cause they say that it's hot. You that chick, cause your Zilli and rock. Do you even know it? You like it cause they sold it? Bought it off the TV screen. Traction Lalapisha, is you still a queen? Can you even tell me why you wear that thing? <laughs> cause who said it's helping you? Cause now you're on your two of growing out your do. They profit off of you, don't care about your health too. And I'm just trying, 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 trying to tell ya. Give up that hair crack, it ain't good for ya. Dibba 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 do 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 yeah. Addicted to Zilli and Remy, get her a Zilli and Remy. Get the right type of wavy, cause she need her Zilli and Remy. Addicted to Zilli and Remy, get her a Zilli and Remy. Get the right type of wavy, cause she need her Zilli and Remy. Sometimes I sit and I ask myself why, why do I try? Because sometimes it's hard to be a black woman with natural hair. Personally, I feel like other people sometimes, <clears throat> they may not like my hair or they may feel like it's inappropriate for an occasion because it's wild and it's not perfectly defined, but that's, that's their opinion. I have nothing to do with that, so. Thank you. Let's give it up one more time for Olive Blue. 
All right, please welcome from the GSU Foundation. Oh, no, no, no. Please welcome Kashara Thigpen and the president of the Black Student Union, Mr. Lester Van Moody. The Entrepreneur Award was presented to a woman who set very high standards while de de demonstrating strong leadership skills and an unflinking desire and determination to be successful. As an owner or manager of a business enterprise, she demonstrates perseverance in the face of adversity and overcoming obstacles. She also shows capacity to be an independent thinker and to take on managed risk in the face of uncertainty. She is seen as a business leader and innovator of a new business or idea. To me, she is called a baller shot caller. <laughs> Tonight's recipient has demonstrated perseverance in the face of adversity and overcoming obstacles. The winter, the winner of the Entrepreneur Award is, drum roll please, Estelianta Sides. Estelita Sides, I'm so sorry. Her name is Estelita Sides. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. This is um, truly an honor, and I feel really privileged to accept this award tonight. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give thanks to the Lord, my Savior. Thank him, I thank him because it's because of him that I'm here. And I also like to thank my husband, my colleagues, my student body, uh, GSU, uh, Student Life, and I thank all of you who have supported me. I just want to say thank you, and I'm truly honored to receive this. And I also want to thank Brenda um, for nominating me, for seeing something in me. Thank you. Welcome to the stage, the Interim Dean of College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Andre Merrick, and the Assistant Director of Student Involvement Campus Programming, Kanye Sledge. Good evening, everyone. This next award is presented to a staff member who's an everyday campus shero. She helps everyone realize opportunities. She consistently demonstrates a substantial level of outstanding support to the GSU community while fulfilling her job responsibilities on a daily basis in exemplary fashion. This nominee is recognized for endlessly and selflessly giving of herself. She radiates positivity and provides outstanding service to students while serving as a mentor, leader, and advocate. These nominees are well known for their work and accomplishments throughout their communities. Each of them are role models and trailblazers. The nominees are Dartina Dunlap, <laughs> Lakia Colquitt, <laughs> Keisha Dyson, <laughs> Sabrina Slocum, <laughs> and Dr. Tasha Banks. And the recipient of the Unsung Shiro Award has created a legacy and is known as a pillar of her community. The winner is? Dartianas. Awesome. It's Dartina Dunlap.
pleasure and an honor always to be acknowledged for something that you're doing um, in support of others. I love GSU. GSU is my family and I am grateful to be able to be here and serve. Thank you so much GSU and thank you my biological family as well. jamming. Let's give it up for the man one more time. <laughs> My jam. Okay, paying tribute to the beauty of African-American women, please welcome Mr. Keith Briggs. Again, for the second year in a row, I'm honored to be here to sing for such a wonderful group of women. You all are so amazing. you've come my way. I hope you know I gladly go. Anywhere you take me, it's so amazing to be loved. I follow you to the moon in the sky above. Oh. to tell you how you thrill me. I'm happy as I can be. You have come and it's changed my whole world. Bye bye, sadness. Hello, mellow. And what a wonderful day. It's so amazing to be loved. I follow you to the moon in the sky above, whoa.
black women rock, but the brothers are out here doing it. The brothers are out here doing it tonight on behalf of black women rock. Is it the Apollo in here? Is that what the Apollo was right there? All right, welcome to tonight's winner of Faculty and Staff Change Agent Award, Dr. Phyllis West and our AmeriCorps Vista Byron Terry. Great, I like your hair. <laughs> Thank you, I like yours too. <laughs> the Rising Star category was created to award an extraordinary undergraduate student who has shown outstanding leadership and service. She excels academically and has aspirations of making profound changes in her community. She supports and encourages others to achieve greatness through academic excellence and service to others. One award will be given in this category. And the, nominee, and the nominees are Ashley Richards, Toy Bowers, August White, Linda Coleman, and Janelle Butler. <laughs> Dun -na -na -na. <laughs> and the winner is okay, I gotta open it. <laughs> Janelle Butler. Oh, she's, she's the one that did that good song. Thank you so much. I, thank you. Um, I'm just really grateful that GSU accepted me with open arms because I came here and I was a really scared freshman and now I'm here. Like, this is amazing. Just, I just want to thank everyone who nominated me and just everyone for being here. Just, thank you. I'm so nervous. <laughs> thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rami Aline, programming intern for Student Life, and your Miss GSU, Ashley Palacios. The artistic mind is a unique creation. Tonight's nominees in the category of arts are truly gifted and talented in what they do. This award is presented to a woman with exceptional creativity and has earned respect as an innovative and talented artist as demonstrated by a passion for the arts. She appreciates and embodies human creativity. Her work is often appreciated primarily or solely in an imaginative, aesthetic, or intellectual content. The, the nominees for Fine Arts Awards are Kirby Wells. <laughs> and Erika Rogers. Erica, Erica, Erica. And the winner is Erica Rogers.
I see y'all tired. Y'all getting tired. I heard the clapping from backstage. So we can do a clap check because y'all clapping is getting weak. I guess the, I guess the chips and everything uh, was wearing off a little bit. Okay, so let's do a clap check. Um, well, no, 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 I think before we go into our next, um, Don't do it. Sean was sharing with me how he has a passion for dance. Don't do it. Don't so do I'm it. just curious to see like what kind of moves he's working Don't with, you know, do right? It. Don't we want to see that? Fellas, just fellas, a little bit. Fellas, if the band fellas, can give us just a fellas, little something Don't for Sean. Do it. I know the dress is mesmerizing y'all, but do not do it. <laughs> just give us just just a little something to you know. Just go ahead, just cut really? a little step. Really? Really? I'm not, 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 I'm not. She she did that on purpose, she set that up. I can't, I can't do nothing, I can't, I can't do anything. That's not what they brought me out here for. They brought me out here to announce. I ain't scared, nah, I ain't scared, I ain't scared, I ain't scared, I ain't scared, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. You all like that? Okay, okay. okay. Whatever gets you, listen, hey. Should I get her back though? I'm just saying, should I get her back? No, no, we're cool. Should I get her back? Let's, let's bring out some real. Should I get her back? Let's bring out some real There you go, dancers. fellas, my man, my let's man. Fellas, here we go. Let's see what she got in now. that dress. Rock that no, dress. No, no, seriously, I'm not, I'm not dancing. Um, please welcome. Oh. Please welcome to the stage the talented, the beautiful Fatal Dance Academy. My condolences to anyone who's ever lost me and to anyone who got lost in me or to anyone who ever felt they took a loss with me, my apologies for the misunderstanding or the lack thereof. I'm sorry you missed the God in me and I'm sorry you missed the light. I'm sorry you forgot the way I arose like the moon night after night with the burden to forgive, eager to feed you everything. See, I'm a holy woman. I know what it's like to give life to a being without ever needing to press skin against one another. I've practiced how to hold my tongue long enough. I'm afraid I forgot to say goodbye. I'm afraid you're under the impression that I was made to please you. I was under the impression you understood me better. The truth is I'm a superwoman, and some days I'm an angry woman, and some days I'm a crazy woman for still waiting for still loving harder even if I'm aching for still trusting that I'm still worth the most for still searching for someone to understand me better All right, let's hear it one more time for Fatal Dance Academy. I love those ladies, awesome. All right, please welcome back to the stage GSU's Assistant Dean of Students, Cherie Sanderson. Thank you, Cherish. Um, so, so I am presenting the Coretta Scott King Award, which we developed about three years ago. And this is an award who really honors a person who is actually a trailblazer. They have ongoing contributions and influences in the community. This individual uh, serves as a leader on several occasions and in different capacities. So you know how they say that as we move about the United States as black people, we learn how to assimilate. Well known for her work, she has completed 
and the effort she continues to conquer as she uplifts her community. She serves as a model and a trailblazer and has left behind a legacy for others to follow. She's also the first to accomplish something in her field or area of expertise. And I've had the personal pleasure to work with her as I took on my role in student life as assistant dean of students. And I couldn't think of anybody that would better exemplify the type of black woman who can lead in any situation. And so the winner of the Coretta Scott King Award is Dr. Lori Glass. Okay, I am overcome with emotion. Um, I am very rarely at a shortage for words, um, but thank you so much for the nomination. I am so excited to be here and just to get an award that's named after Coretta Scott King. And just thinking about this award, I thought, oh wow, most people think she's only the wife of Dr. Martin Luther King, the mother of his children the one that kept the home front together, but she was much more than that. She exemplifies grace and compassion. She was very, um, a bright woman. She was able to see her role in society as her legacy to others in that grace and that composure, the things that we will never know how she inspired her husband and the role that she took in the civil rights um, movement. When I think of her, I think of the women in my life that had composure and grace and compassion for others and paved the way for me and hopefully for those that follow after me. My grandmothers who started life as domestics and saved and worked hard to see my mother through nursing school as in one of the first black nursing schools in Chicago at Providence Hospital. And these are people that inspire me they epitomize the grace, the wisdom, just the, uh, the hard work that goes into being a woman and bring, being an African-American woman. I want to thank um, my mom, my grandmothers, who are here in spirit. I want to thank my family who came out for me. Where are you, family? <laughs> Woo! And my friends who came out. Uh, my. My GSU colleagues, I want to thank you. And I love GSU, and I'll tell you why. I, I see GSU as an opportunity to not only be uh, a professor, I was, uh, was blessed to have this PhD. But the blessing that I get is to be able to speak into the lives of others. When it's all said and done, I want to be a light to others. I want to be remembering to take the time to help, to show people the way. I want to open doors. I want to be that person that my grandmothers were, that Coretta Scott King was, and that's what I want. I want to also thank uh, the student organization that I'm the uh, faculty advisor for, Generating Hope. Uh, any of those members here? Um, it's, been a, it's been a blessing for me, and I really like these particular things are opportunities, not just to shine a light on me, but to let other people know what your legacy is. So I have a quote that I'm going to read from Coretta Scott King that just reminds us as the GSU community that we have a responsibility beyond getting our education but to pay back to be concerned about our community. So I'm charging you as members of the GSU community and your own communities to remember that the greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassion actions of its members, a heart of grace and a soul generated by love. So don't forget that. Thank you. Thank you.
And right before we bring out uh, Cherish Brown coming back to the stage, I want to introduce you to Robert Clay, who is our Director of Intercultural Student Affairs, Byron Terry, who is our VISTA from AmeriCorps, AmeriCorps VISTA, Kanya Sledge, who is our Assistant Director of, of uh, Programming, Sean Smith, who is our Coordinator of Male Success Initiative, Travell Crawford is somewhere in the building who is our, uh, there he is, our off-campus off work-study student. And again, I'm Cherie Sanderson, and we are the well Oil machine. And let me not forget Lorraine McMurtry, who is our administrative assistant. These are the people that put this show together for you. And so I just want them to take a bow. But wait, Cherie, we have something for you. What you don't know is that, what you all may not know, Cherie Sterling has been here nearly 20 years at Governor State University. And if you had an encounter with her, you know that she's a phenomenal woman who truly rocks. So as a staff of Student Life, we want to say thank you, Cherie, for all that you do. And we love you and we appreciate you. And you truly are a black woman who rocks. Thank you so much. I know she got something to say. I, Cause you know I'm not speechless. <laughs> I, I thank you very much. You know, we get nominated quite a bit for these events, but because we are actually doing these events, we do the right thing so it, it has that true essence of realism. So we back out from being nominated and I am totally touched that my staff would do that. Thank you so much. Have you guys had fun tonight? I hope you had more fun than that. Have you had fun tonight? That's better. Well, we want to thank you for attending the fifth annual Black Women Rock Awards ceremony. It has certainly been an amazing, wonderful evening. We would like to take this time right now to thank Mr. Robert Clay, Ms. Holly Campbell, uh, the, Black, the Black Student Union, and the rest of the Black Women Rock Committee for making this event possible. We'd also like to thank the gentlemen of the Male Success Initiative in the house. Give it up. <laughs> Fellas, where you at? All right. For volunteering at time to serve as ushers and escorts. And we would also like to thank our tech crew back in the DLMD. Let's give it up for them. We hope that you have enjoyed yourselves this evening. Let's continue the conversation on Facebook and Instagram by using the hashtag BWR2017. And I would not be remiss if I did not give some love to the baddest band in the land. Again, <laughs> Daily Press. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. To close our show, please welcome back to the stage Miss Kaya Holmes and the house band. We thank you all so much for coming out this evening. And as is customary, we're going to ask all the women in the audience to come on stage and join us in our celebration as we wrap up Black Women Rock. Hit it. Whatever you want, Come on up, ladies. whatever you need, anything you want done, baby, I'll do it naturally. Cause I'm every woman. It's all